The Milky Way galaxy, which contains hundreds of billions of stars, including the Sun and our planet Earth, is on course to merge with the nearby Andromeda galaxy. The NASA Hubble Space Telescope has captured an incredible new image of three distant galaxies tearing each other apart. According to NASA, this cosmic collision is known as a triple galaxy merger. It occurs when three galaxies gradually draw closer and tear each other apart with their competing solid gravitational forces. Mergers like these frequently occur throughout the universe and in all large galaxies. As chaotic as they appear, these mergers are more about creation than destruction. As gas from three neighboring galaxies collides and condenses, a vast sea of material from which new stars will emerge forms at the heart of the newly unified galaxy. Before we look into the details, let's look at the foundation of everything, the galactic halo. In their most basic form, halos can be understood as an extended, spherical component of a galaxy that extends beyond the primary visible part. The stellar halo, the galactic corona, which is typically made of hot gas or plasma, and the halo of dark matter are three distinct components that make them up. Dust, gas, and stars make up the majority of galactic halos, and these structures are incredibly faint. However, astronomers were able to measure the size of Andromeda's halo and believe that it is of a similar shape and size to our own. The research was published in the Astrophysical Journal. The results of these measurements indicate that it is highly likely that the halo of the Milky Way and the halo of Andromeda are touching. If this is the case, then the collision between the two galaxies has already begun. Okay, so if the galactic halos are already touching, how fast is Andromeda moving towards us, and when will the collision actually happen? At a speed of nearly a quarter of a million kilometers per hour, the Andromeda galaxy is getting closer to the Milky Way. At a distance of more than 2 million light years away, it's the most distant object that can be seen with the naked eye, and is also the central galaxy that is closest to our own Milky Way. As the two galaxies get more relative to each other, and eventually merge to form Milkomeda, there will be complete anarchy to begin. Everything will appear to be a gigantic game of pinball, with enormous amounts of rocks, dust, asteroids, planets, and stars being hurled in all different directions. In the year 2012, NASA presented artists' interpretations of what it might look like for someone on Earth to watch the Andromeda Galaxy approach our own. The measurements of the Andromeda Galaxy taken by the Hubble Space Telescope were used in conjunction with computer modeling to produce the interpretations. In approximately 2 billion years, the disk of the Andromeda Galaxy will appear to have significantly expanded. In the meantime, in 3.85 billion years, a newly formed star will be visible in the sky. In a further 4 billion years, when the Milky Way has become more warped, Andromeda will appear to be stretched. And in another 7 billion years, the galaxies will have fused together to form a massive elliptical galaxy. When you consider how long galaxies tend to live, these kinds of collisions occur pretty frequently. The simulations indicate that the remnant will resemble a giant elliptical galaxy, which is a type of galaxy that looks like a blob and does not have spiral arms or an internal structure that can be seen. While the Milky Way contains approximately 300 billion stars, the Andromeda Galaxy is home to about 1 trillion. Because the stars in question are separated by such a large distance from one another, it's extremely unlikely that any of them will collide with one another individually. For instance, Proxima Centauri is approximately 4.2 light years away, making it the solar system's most nearby star. If the Sun were a ping pong ball, then Proxima Centauri would be approximately the size of a pea and be located about 680 miles away. The typical distance between stars is still about 100 billion miles although there are a more significant number of stars near the centers of each galaxy. That would be the equivalent of placing one ping-pong ball every two miles. Consequently, it's extremely unlikely that any two stars from the merging galaxy would collide. But some stars might be ejected. Both the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy have a supermassive black hole at their galactic centers. After a period of time that could span millions of years, these black holes will eventually spiral into one another and converge near the center of a newly formed galaxy. When supermassive black holes get within one light year of one another, they will begin to vigorously emit gravitational waves, radiating additional orbital energy until they merge entirely. This process will continue until the black holes are a single entity. The ingestion of gas by the combined mass of black holes has the potential to produce an active nucleus for the galaxy. If something like this were to take place, it would liberate an incredible amount of energy. At this point, you might be wondering what lies in store for the future of our solar system. In the event that galaxies collide and merge into one, 
scientists predict that there is a 50% chance that the solar system will be swept out to a position that is three times further from the center of the galaxy than its current position. The spiral arms make up the structure of our galaxy, and the Orion Spur is the name of the branch in which the Sun resides. If we were to be propelled further away, then our solar system would arrive right at the tip of this arm, if it were to be pushed further. In addition, researchers believe that at some point during the collision, there will be a 12% chance that the solar system will be completely expelled from the galaxy that was just formed. Now, before you freak out, humanity would have long since vanished by that point. In fact, such an occurrence would not have any unfavorable effects on the solar system, and the likelihood of it causing any kind of disturbance to the sun or the planets themselves is extremely low, provided that planetary engineering is disregarded. Due to the gradual increase in luminosity of the sun, the surface of the Earth will have already reached a temperature at which it's impossible for liquid water to exist by the time the two galaxies collide. This will result in the extinction of all terrestrial life. But our planet will still be caught in the middle of this collision, and its perspective of the universe will never be the same. Andromeda would grow larger in the sky if we could observe it from the hellish perspective of Earth or the far reaches of the outer solar system. Approximately 4 billion years from now, it may be able to stretch from horizon to horizon, like a peaceful rainbow of dew. If we could still see the night sky, we'd notice that Andromeda is growing larger in the sky. Well, if you were searching for something to torment you, and this one didn't, you might start basing your thoughts on the fact that before this collision even happens, the sun might have turned into a big red giant and probably swallowed the Earth. 